March 25th. The charismatic Hawkins, who had manned the drum kit for the band since 1997, died at a hotel in Bogota, Colombia, ahead of a scheduled performance at Festival Estereo Picnic. In the wake of Hawkins' death, Foo Fighters were forced to cancel that performance, as well as another scheduled show at Lollapalooza, Brazil, and all of their upcoming tour dates. Hawkins died just about an hour before he and the band were supposed to play. Fans were already at the venue waiting to see Hawkins and his bandmates perform, but upon hearing the tragic news of his death, the stage was turned into a memorial on candles as a vigil. Colombian authorities launched an investigation into Hawkins' death, and since then, details have been trickling out about this tragedy. So Taylor, besides being the best drummer I've ever seen in my life, I think he's great. At the time of Hawkins' death, Foo Fighters were in the midst of a string of South American festival dates. On March 20th, Hawkins played what would tragically prove to be his final show. It was a headlining set at Lollapalooza, Argentina. Two days later, on March 22nd, Foo Fighters were in Paraguay for the Yasunsonico Festival, but the show was cancelled due to severe weather. A call was made to emergency responders on the evening of March 25th about a man suffering from chest pains. They were called to the band's hotel north of Bogota and, upon arrival, attempts were made to administer CPR and resuscitate Hawkins. These efforts were unsuccessful and the musician was pronounced dead. Hawkins' death came shortly before Foo Fighters were due on stage and festival organizers announced to the crowd that the band would be unable to perform at the festival that night. Foo Fighters released their own statement on social media which read, The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family, and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in this unimaginably difficult time. The band's final show of their South American run was supposed to be in Sao Paulo at Lollapalooza, Brazil. Foo Fighters were replaced by Miley Cyrus, who dedicated her set to Hawkins. She told the crowd, I would have done anything to hang out with him one more time. Meanwhile, Queen drummer Roger Taylor, one of Hawkins' idols, posted on Instagram, He was a kind, brilliant man and an inspirational mentor to my son Rufus and the best friend one could ever have. Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page also posted a memorial photo of him and Hawkins on Instagram. He wrote, It was so good to play with him. I really admired him and he was a brilliant musician. His technique, his energy and spirited enthusiasm. On this sad day, I would like to send my condolences to his family, his band members in the Foos and his fans. Colombian officials immediately launched an investigation into Hawkins' cause of death. The first piece of information that came out about Hawkins' death was from a preliminary toxicology report obtained from a urine sample. The test revealed that Hawkins' sample tested positive for 10 substances that included tricyclic antidepressants, benzodiazepines, opioids, and THC, a compound found in marijuana. Hawkins' battles with substance abuse has been well documented, and an overdose while on tour in 2001 had left him in a coma. In 2019, he told Kerrang, I was partying in London one night and I mistakenly did something and it changed everything. I believed the bull myth of live hard and fast, die young. I'm not here to preach about not doing drugs because I loved doing drugs, but I just got out of control for a while and it almost got me. As the investigation progressed, forensic investigators performing Hawkins' autopsy discovered that the musician's heart was around twice the size of heart typically found in a man his age. It was also reported that Hawkins suffered a cardiac collapse brought on by consuming an array of substances, including heroin, antidepressants, and benzodiazepines. Some of the earlier reports alleged that a police officer who arrived on the scene noted a white powder that was described as cocaine-like. However, nothing to that effect appeared anywhere in the Attorney General's statement released after the autopsy. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit 